It's the story of pursuing life, liberty, and happiness told from the eyes of his abuela. Hi, I'm author and creative warrior Sarah Faxon, and tonight I'm going to be featuring the comic Dia de Consuelo by Dave Ortega. Now, this week is extra special, you guys, as this is Comic-Con week. There's going to be a lot of content coming out this week, so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be in the know when all of our videos drop. We're going to be doing something every single day to feature different artists and to talk about Comic-Con itself. So as a lifelong San Diegan, I'm so excited to honor Comic-Con and hope you stick around. Now, on to the show. While we won't be tracking through the lines and the hustle and bustle, seeing the cosplay, standing in line to go through the latest Jack Ryan exhibit, collecting our badges, or standing in line to get our favorite merch, we are still going to be doing all that we can to celebrate Comic-Con, and as luck would have it, Comic-Con is going to be having all of the panels just like they would normally, except we get to attend at home. So that's super exciting and can't wait to start seeing uh, what's in the lineup. I just started thumbing through or thumbing through um, the different panels that were going to happen. And right off the bat, right on Wednesday at 3 p.m. West Coast time, cool coast time. Right off the bat on Wednesday, there's going to be a couple of different panels that really caught my eye. The first one's called Comics in the Classroom, and the second one I think is called Teaching and Learning with Comics. Now, I just had the honor of reading this lovely comic series, Dias de Consuelo, and these are all about um, the Mexican Revolution, the early 20th century when Mexico was in utter political and social torment. There were all sorts of different uh, labor disputes happening. The, the concept of having labor unions was just um, being fought for. The people were trying to reclaim the lands from the um, lords and noblemen who had taken over the country. While at the same time, you had your regular citizens just trying to do their day-to-day -day activities to carry on their cultures and live their life to the best that they could in those times. And Dave Ortega did an absolutely amazing job capturing those moments. The series begins in 1914 Fresno, Mexico, following Evarista and her daughter Consuelo. Now, these ladies go through absolute hell and back again, just trying to live their lives, um, to follow their traditions, and to follow God. Faith plays an absolutely tremendous, tremendous role in these stories, and it's incredible to see what faith got these women through. Now, you're, you're probably thinking, this sounds like a very real story, and well, it is. Dave Ortega isn't just a historian and a comic creator. These stories are from the eyes of his grandmother, his abuela. Now, his abuela would tell him these stories and he just knew that he had to come. He just knew that he had to capture them, to share them so that the histories from the first person accounts were captured. I had the honor of interviewing Dave, so be sure to stay tuned for the next video, which is coming out tomorrow, to see the interview, where we talk about how important it is to talk to your elders, to talk to your parents, your grandparents, your great-grandparents, as in some cases, to capture their stories. These aren't just the old, tried-and-true, I walked to school uphill both ways, barefooted in the snow stories. These are the stories about how you got to where you are, and the strength and the heart of your ancestors to get you to a better place than they were. So absolutely incredible, incredible stories. Um, they cover a 10 year period from, like I said, 1914 through 1924 and follows the political upheaval happening um, in Mexico at that time. And while Evarista and Consuelo don't really get involved in politics, they don't really have a choice but to be confronted by so many of these issues that are happening right in their backyard at times, right in their house at times. A 10 year period of extreme hardship and war but also of love. And you see the love that Consuelo carries in her heart of God, of her family, through the story. And those are the pillars that help her 
persevere and push and carry on till they reach the end of their journey. But even then, the story doesn't end. So I just read The River by Dave Ortega, which is sort of a continuation of the story where we see Consuelo in her home in the United States. Spoiler alert, she made it. And um, you see that the troubles were not completely left behind in their former um, state. So it's a really beautiful story and it really truly calls to your heart and it especially calls to my heart um, because Dave's abuela is my great abuela. Dave Ortega and I are cousins and um, I consider it one of my greatest blessings to have been able to hear some of these stories from great grandma herself and to see the history pass before her eyes as she conveyed these stories to us. And um, my great grandma was one of the strongest women around and she made it all the way well past 100. And the love that she carried for, again, her family and for God was passed on to her children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and great-great-grandchildren. And it is such an honor and an incredible joy to see and to read these stories by Dave Ortega. And I hope, um, dear viewers, that if you've got a story of your great-grandparents, of your grandma, of your dad, your mom, your brothers, your sisters, that you're able to honor them in some way like this or to tell your story in some way like this. Using comics as a avenue of storytelling is phenomenal because it appeals to us on multiple levels. So honor the stories of those who've come before you. Talk to your parents, talk to your grandparents, especially now during quarantine. That little phone call is going to go a long way. Tell them about Comic-Con, your adventures there, your favorite comic book stories. And let us know in the comments below what your favorite comics are. I'm always looking for a new read and can't wait to tell you about the other reads I've been enjoying these past few weeks. So guys, be sure to check out Dave Ortega's comics and all of his other works. His link for his website is right here, vivaortegacy.com. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you'll be in the know. I want to stop for a second to thank the anonymous donor, the first one who kicked off my GoFundMe campaign. There's links to that GoFundMe campaign in my YouTube video about how it's time to step this production up with a new professional camera. So if you're interested in supporting that endeavor, please check the link in the description below. And thanks you guys so much for watching. Every like, every view warms my heart and I can't tell you how much that means to me. And we'll see you in the next video where I'm interviewing Dave Ortega. Take care guys and cheers dears. <laughs>